Whether or not you want to feel better beyond divorce is not the question. The question is how. This is what I get asked all the time because most of you know what it is that you need, right? You know that you need to overcome self-doubt, let her go and find closure, make sense of what went wrong and look forward to the future. But how are you actually supposed to do any of those things? So I recently created a brand new coaching program called Better Beyond Divorce. And in today's video, I'm going to explain the three basic steps that everyone needs to undertake to move on after divorce. And I'll also explain how we work through those steps together in my program. Step one is to deal with emotions where they live. So if you've ever experienced a disconnect between what you think and how you feel, the reason is because you're trying to deal cognitively with something that's happening on a physical level. So after divorce, this can manifest in a lot of ways. For instance, maybe you know cognitively, rationally, that you're not the person your ex made you out to be. You might even know that it takes two to tango, right? It takes two people to make or break a marriage. And yet, you can't seem to shake those feelings of regret and shame and guilt about what happened. Or maybe you experience this with anger. Maybe you try to deal with your anger and put it aside or shove it down because you know that anger isn't going to fix things, but yet it just seems to boil over at the worst possible moments. If you're experiencing any of this, it's because those emotions are physical and we have to work with them in your body. You can't reason your way out of how you feel. So in Better Beyond Divorce, I'll give you specific tools and guide you in how to work with emotions in the physical body to get what you're feeling and what you're thinking to sync up, but also to really process the grief, the loneliness, the guilt, the regret that comes up around divorce. The second step is for you to get square with yourself. The single biggest obstacle I see to healing after divorce is self-doubt. After all, if you've been told again and again and again that the divorce was your fault, that you were too controlling, that you were insensitive, that you lack empathy, again and again and again, it's really hard not to internalize that and start to doubt who you are, what kind of person you are. I mean, after all, if your wife, your best friend, your partner of all these years could give up on you, maybe you are a lost cause. That's how so many of the men I talk to are thinking. That's why in Better Beyond Divorce, I don't try to convince you that you're a good person. Instead, I take you on a journey of self-inquiry. We go in together, you and me, to discover who are you really. We'll travel deep into your heart and mind to make sense of the things that you did, the way you felt, and how you think. We'll explore the influence of cultural conditioning, like the movies that tell us that men are supposed to be strong and stoic. We'll also look at the influence of the past because Everything from the emotional absence of an overworked single mom to active violent abuse or neglect can shape the way that you experience and show up in your relationships now. The intention of this inquiry is to shine the light on those dark places that you perceive inside yourself and see what's really there. We're going to find out who you are under all of the layers of history, experience, cultural conditioning, and emotional habits. The third basic step is to build a roadmap for connection going forward. So once you feel confident in who you are, and you're not afraid of that anymore, and once you have the skills to process difficult and painful emotions, then it's time to turn your gaze to the future. In Better Beyond Divorce, I teach a series of simple, effective communication skills to speak to another person in a way that deepens intimacy and connection instead of driving you apart. This way, you won't have to spend your next relationship feeling unheard or misunderstood or wondering what it is that your partner is thinking and feeling. I'll also help you navigate the common challenges in relationships that go deeper than conversation. Some of this is understanding and exploring the societal and cultural differences and how men and women are socialized so that you actually have a chance of being understood and understanding your partner on a deeper level. And finally, we'll explore boundaries and ways that boundaries can actually be used to deepen intimacy and connection instead of driving people apart, as they usually do the way most people use them in their relationships. So that is a big picture view of how we work together to rebuild your confidence and help you move forward after divorce. Of course, in the Better Beyond Divorce program, we do so much more than that. We talk about how to succeed in dating after divorce, how to be an effective co-parent, even if your ex hates you, how to find your purpose again after a lifetime of marriage, and also how to forgive your ex and yourself. If you would like to learn more about how to move on from divorce or talk to me about the specifics of the Better Beyond Divorce program to see if it's a good fit for you, leave me a note in the comments, reach out to me by email, or go ahead and book a free consult with me directly using the link in the video description below.